YouTube, this is Wayne with Wayne's Fish World. I'm driving today in my truck. I'm coming back from the Lowe's. And today I am coming at you guys with building a racking system. First of all, let's talk about this real quick. Everybody's like, Wayne, you jump from one thing to another in projects. I'll admit, I'm a little guilty of that. But I have not forgotten about the 375 gallon pond. I am still working on that. Um, I, I took a break on that because of Christmas, guys. You guys all know when you got to shop for a lot of people. Um, Christmas shopping gets a little crazy, your money gets tight, and then I'm not going to get into depth, I've been a little stressed out, uh, I had a death in the family, I had, I, I'm having a little job, unknown what's, unknowing what's going to happen, but uh, I'm not going to whine and bitch to you guys about that, but uh, I, am, I am building a rocking system, and I already started waterproofing the 375 gallon pond, and they tie in together, so... I don't want to tell you what I'm doing because I want to keep it secret. But they do tie in together, so it's kind of like the same project. But uh, I didn't want to film that because I've been stressed. Uh, the last couple days, I've been getting four hours of sleep every night, and I've been dead tired. I slept like 10 o'clock today. I slept like probably 12 hours. I feel great. I feel rejuvenated. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go do what I got to do, get my lumber, come back, and uh, work on another video with you guys, and you guys can experience on how to build a racking system. All right, guys, I'm going, uh, I'm not going to stop by the local fish store today. I want to work on this. I'll see you guys when I get home. I'm back home. I'm going to go get my measurements, and then we're going to come out here and get some, get some cutting going and some drilling and some hammering and whatnot. Unfortunately, this video isn't going to be an extremely in-depth video. It's just going to show you the basics of what I was doing. I didn't take the time to actually record every little step of what I was doing. Right now, I'm just cutting up some lumber. Uh, it was pretty much easy steps. It was pretty much getting your measurements right, uh, the clearance for the aquariums, the depth, height, all that good stuff, cutting the lumber up, bringing it inside to build it because I didn't use bolts and screws to uh, undo this thing. So when I when I have to move this stand one day out of this room, I'm going to have to take the nails apart and put it back together with screws that time. But uh, I just wanted to have fun with this build, and you guys can just get the basic concept of what I was doing. That's why this video is not really in-depth, because I wanted to enjoy building it by myself alone. No offense to you guys, I just wanted some me time with my aquariums. Alright, my basement's a little dirty, and I had to rearrange stuff to fit this thing in there. But you guys can see the stand right here. This is half of it, what it's comprised of. There's no bracing yet. What I've got going on is uh, 2x4, 2x6, 2x6 on a bottom. There's no 2x6 and a 2x4. Um, the 2x6s are to brace that weight. It's going to be 5, 10 gallons across. Um, that is just for the plywood. That's... It's going to be like when you go into a pet store. Um, you have a tank here, and they got a little flat that they open. It's going to be just like that. That way it can sit on their flush. All right, YouTube, I'm here looking at my stand, and I'm like, awesome, and I smell the fresh smell of lumber in my house. I like that, but uh, the stand's kind of big. It's actually a lot bigger. It looks a lot better in person. Um, sorry for the ugly wall. This is, a, this is the unfinished part of the basement. This is where I keep all my tanks because if water ever spills, who the fuck cares, right? But, um, yeah, the stand is, I think it was 9 nine feet and one inch long the inside fits five ten gallons and there's three levels so that's 15 10 gallons now I'm not gonna go out and buy uh, 11 10 gallons today that's not happen I'll get them over over the couple of weeks and uh, slowly slowly start accumulating this rack so I might have to put some uh, joists or braces underneath the 10 gallons 12 inch uh, 16 24 inch centered I'm not too sure yet but I might have to put some brace under there to actually support the lighting system and uh, once I get that done I can actually start painting this thing and sheathing up this stand with plywood and in the front I'm gonna make little openings like in the pet store where they just open the lid or like when you go in Pet Smart and Petco or something or the pet store too they open the lid and they can access the tank that way and uh, I think it's pretty cool that I have a racking system. I've always wanted one of these. Tell me what you guys think. I definitely will update you guys later in the future with this. Um, I'll definitely give you guys an update with the 357 gallon aquarium soon. Um, I can't really put water into that until spring anyway. So there's no real rush for that. So guys, comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. This is Wayne with Wayne's Fish World.